it from insects. You're getting it from skin. You're, you're getting it from bats flying over, uh, defecating in the air. Uh, obviously, I mean, I mean, they, you know, his his point is, is there's even worse stuff going around that they're just covering up, uh, like that new uh, virus that hits the lungs. So thank you, John. Uh, again, the stuff you're bringing up is above my pay grade. So that is a good question. Uh, John in Illinois, uh, go ahead. You're on the air. Or, or Andrew, excuse me. Times, the Florida Times Union got a November 4th article. Ebola hits health care access for other diseases. Well, they're mentioning uh, malaria, and they said there tens of thousands of deaths from the malaria, but really they're using that to hide the Ebola deaths. That's an important article. To yeah, look up yeah, to. that's been in. I've seen that in other mainstream articles that they're covering up the real Ebola death toll. It's not five thousand. They think it's way above that. Do me a favor. What's the headline on that article, and we'll look it up. Okay, it is Ebola hits healthcare access for other diseases by Jonathan Payne, Layla, and Sarah De Lorenzo, Associated Press, November the fourth, two thousand fourteen, out of the Florida Times Union. And it says Jacksonville.com is, is a, a web link up on it. No, that's great. I mean, we'll uh, look that up. That we found it. Ebola hits health care access for other diseases. And then you say in the article, they admit that uh, that that they're just calling it malaria deaths, but it's really Ebola. We do not pay attention. We have thousands of deaths because of Ebola, but we have tens of thousands of deaths from other diseases. We we know it simply that there are high numbers of deaths from other diseases, but I think that's the smokescreen. Yeah, well, that article, like you said, doesn't exactly spell that out, but it, but it, it it's clear that's going on. You can search, uh, you know, uh, all over London Telegraph, you name it, quoting doctors saying that who've been there that the death toll's way bigger than it is. And I should have talked to Hatfield about how he's going to Africa, I guess, to treat people. So that's why he said, "Y'all yeah, come on your show, maybe if I live." <laughs> pretty wild. Pretty wild. I should have. I mean, every time you do a great interview like that, you think of all the great questions you could have asked later. So uh, that's why I really should always open Twitter questions up for every guest. You guys should religiously put out a hashtag an hour before so I have some of those questions so that I can, because the, the listeners always think of better questions than I do. Uh, let's go ahead. Thank you, Andrew. Let's talk to James in Pennsylvania. You're on the air. Hey, Alex. How's it going? Good, brother. But, uh, yeah, I'm a first-time caller. I've been awake ever since you went to Bohemian Grove. <laughs> That's a while. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just calling because here in central PA, they, uh, our local news, Channel 10, WTAJ, has done a story about the Pennsylvania Health Department monitoring 105 people for Ebola. And I guess that's on top of the 80 that came back with all the students in September because they were monitoring them as well. What do you think's going on? I mean, they're telling us forget about Ebola, but if you look at their... Hmm? A lot. <laughs> well, just... well, if you've got Americans going back and forth between these two countries at this level, we're undoubtedly going to see more Ebola. And then you have the government basically getting the media to cover it up, and that's confirmed by Forbes. That's a huge story, but don't hold your breath. Don't expect it to be covered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've shared and everything, and they, I'm pretty sure they've deleted it off their website and everything. So I got a lot of the students I could. Well, do me a favor. Send all those tips to showtips at Infowars.com or whistleblowers at Infowars.com. You are our eyes and ears. We need your help. Uh, watching and tracking everything, so please send it all to Infowars.com. Let's go ahead and talk to Rob in Missouri. You're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, it's an honor. Uh, with regard to the election results and uh, what we can expect next, I think that as long as we, the American people, and the Congress allow him to, we're going to see an unprecedented number of very unpopular executive orders to be signed by Obama, and uh, I think they're unlawful and unconstitutional. The reason why I say that, I'm somewhat of a student of constitutional law, and if you look historically at the other executive orders that previous presidents have signed, that they are supposed to sign, uh, they're supposed to provide a reference to a rule of law. You know what, stay there. I, I want you to explain to people, because I know this too, but I, you're an eloquent fellow. I want you to break it down. The first few hundred executive orders were Washington 
requesting money for cutlery and plates and drapes so he can entertain the French or British ambassador as president. And then he has to refer to allotments from Congress of money for the executive. Now Obama just says, no, I'm a king. I have executive orders. I'm watching and waiting for the right time to take everything you own. I love a dark house. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Hey, Boomer! I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too! Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution, D DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the InfoWar. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. Do you lay awake at night and worry about the health and safety of you and your loved ones? Do you wonder what would happen if you weren't able to get to a hospital or doctor? How can you keep your family safe against the deadly pathogens that are beginning to emerge in the world today? Give yourself peace of mind with Supernatural Silver. Supernatural Silver is turning heads around the world as a new weapon in the fight against bacteria, viruses, and fungus. Supernatural Silver can be taken internally or used topically to help the body's own immune system fight off disease much more effectively. Supernatural Silver has been tested at independent universities and laboratories around the world and has been proven to be safe and highly effective against some of the planet's deadliest pathogens. There is no better product to have in your home for daily use or emergency preparedness. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com, use the code SILVER2014 for 20% off, and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Warnings of an American collapse hit us nearly every day. Gear up while you still can with Infidel Body Armor. Don't spend between five and $600. Infidel is available for just $374.99 with free shipping within the U.S. Made in America and legal in all 50 states. Resist tyranny with Infidel Body Armor. Buy yours today at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. No matter how hard you try, you can't stop us now. Story just went live on Infowars.com. Alex Jones here back live. Toll free number to join us on air, 800-259-9231. I'd love to hear from you on the political realignment that just took place. Do you think it's going to cause any change or is it just more of the same? Well, that's the cliched question. It will change things if we stay on the Republicans, if we stop them from destroying the Tea Party, if we take the states back, if we promote liberty and freedom everywhere, we will win. I'm not that skilled, I'm not that eloquent, but I do love liberty and I won't stop.
and I've been involved politically for 23 years, 20 years on air, and I've reached hundreds of millions of people globally. I'm not bragging about that. It's the good news. Now, when I'm at the mall or downtown or even in another city or at an airport, half the people I walk by, I'm going to go get a hidden camera and do this at an airport or something, come over and shake my hand or listeners or give me thumbs up. It's like Fight Club or something. The number of people that identify with Alex Jones, and most of them probably only seen the show 10 times or heard it a few times or you know, seen me on national television and agree with me. The point is they resonate with Alex Jones, the wild radical. Here it is, I'm not radical. I mean, I, if it's radical to want private property and right to defend myself and national sovereignty and to have transparency in government and to want to prosecute these big corporations that are tax exempt running our government into the ground, if that's weird, then I'm a weirdo. So I just want to make that positive announcement again. A lot of you out there aren't in the media, you aren't well known, you're not recognized, so you have no idea how many people there are that are awake. Now there are pockets of the country in every state, because I've been around the nation, where almost no one's awake. But then there's pockets where almost everyone's awake. It's really a weird, a weird dichotomy, a weird paradox. But it doesn't matter if half the public doesn't know how to tie their shoelaces and wants to suck their thumb and believes whatever big government tells them. If 5% of us don't go along with it, it will stop. So it's time to stop complying with unconstitutional garbage. It's time to stand up for ourselves. But it's time to also try to take the system over. While building alternative grassroots systems, I say attack on every front. <clears throat> that doesn't mean that you have to do everything yourself. The journey of a thousand miles, as the Chinese say, starts with a single step. Do little things in your life. Try to eat organic or non-processed when you can. Try to support good cops when they do the right thing. And then stand up against bad cops or bad government when they do the wrong thing. Like I told my reporters years ago, I said, you know, it's always viral to put a story out when a cop does something really bad. And I said, we still want to do those reports because it's what's happening. But we want to then try to put a good thing a police officer did next to it or in it or, or headline something good to magnify good behavior. And it's the same thing for us in our own lives. What's the best way to lead a company or to lead your family is by example. It's an inside job, just like it always is. Who sings that song? We got it as bumper music. He's the same guy that has the songs, kick them while they're up, kick them while they're down. His name will pop in my head in a minute. And I'm not up here preaching. I'm not up here on a high horse. I'm not up here saying I have all the answers. I just know the decadent, who cares, only be out for yourself. That attitude brings down civilizations. It brings down societies. For a while, if you're living in a free, open society and you're being a cheat, a liar, a thief, a scammer, yeah, you'll do okay for a while. But then... All that comes back on you. But as a society, when it keeps going on for a long time, it comes back on the culture itself and civilizations die. And let me tell you, if this civilization starts to collapse, which every expert, every scientist, every mathematician, every economist, in fact, I didn't cover it yesterday and I meant to. Will you reprint me that Bloomberg article about the top, top fund manager and uh, economist analyst saying the economy's totally fake and will implode? There's more articles on that today, and I'm not being negative. It's like you're in an airplane, you're running out of gas. We better find a place to land or we're going to crash. We're almost out of gas, and the globalists want to use this crisis that's coming to bring in total control. We've got to run around like chickens with our heads cut off to try to get good people in place and to get good ideas out front so that as things get even worse, we're in a position to lead, not that we have all the answers, but we certainly have goodwill. We certainly have a good heart. We certainly want to fix things. We certainly don't want to cheat people. And we know private property, family, Second Amendment works. We know being moral, it builds a good society, loving God. And, and, and so we are a free society. You're free to do what you want as long as it doesn't hurt somebody else. Well, what the globalists are doing, signing us on to their trillions in debt, 
selling out our sovereignty, trying to dumb down our kids so they can manage them. That is hurting us. And so we have a right to take the country and the world back from them. Your calls and news straight ahead.